Hello, everybody, and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends. And uh, I know we lost many viewers because we have to hang up and come back again. Uh, our topic today is about, or now, about uh, weak. You know, each time we show a Muslim a story from his books, he say it's weak. But what, what does that mean exactly? Uh, a termidi reported the same hadith on the authority of Ibn Ammar, but it is uh, but a weak chain narration. You know, there is a there is a video made by a sheikh, his name uh, Imam Hamza or Sheikh Hamza, and he said it clearly that any Muslim he say that hadith is weak. This is a weak argument. You can search right now as we speak to Sheikh Hamza video. Actually, you know what? Let me search for it. I'm not going to play the video, so they will not uh, say uh, copyright or whatever, you know, the garbage they have always. I will go to YouTube and search for Sheikh Hamza. Here we go. This is their, the one they listen to in TV, and he is teaching them that when you say to somebody, this is a weak hadith, this is a weak argument. I'm just quoting him. He says, weak hadith, and I'm quoting, did not flunk. It pass. It pass. That's why it's called weak. So this is number one lie they come to us with it. When they say weak, hadith have ranks, supposedly. There's one which is absolutely correct, like 100%. There's one is 90%. There's one is 80%. The weak is more than 50%. The weak is the one which they cannot throw away and they cannot deny. So why the Muslim they say to us weak? However, I'm going to use the weak argument for a strong argument. As long as you Muslims in order to deny anything written in your books by saying this story is weak and this story is rejected and this hadith is matruk and this hadith is mawdu they have tons of names okay why we don't have an authentic source of islam if allah preserve islam you see allah he ordered the muhammadan to obey allah after obeying the messenger He, oops, when typing in English. <clears throat> so he ordered them to obey. And actually, Muhammad, he said it clearly, that the one who obey the Prophet, he obey Allah. Which is very weird. I mean, uh, because the Quran confirmed that Muhammad is a sinner man. So what do you mean the one who obey the Prophet, he obey Allah? Because Allah and the Prophet is one. Muhammad, he is the one who made this verse. So the one who obey the messenger, he obey Allah. Okay, how we will learn about what Allah messengers he said so we can obey? We have to go to the hadith. And if the hadith is full of garbage, how we will obey him? So what you are saying, hadith means a speech. Hadith means a speech, a speech statement by Muhammad or his companions. All right. Hadith, uh, hadith in Arabic is means speech, uh, talk. The Quran itself, by the way, is a hadith too. Muhammad, he made a verse in the Quran saying that Allah, he sent the best of the, the uh, hadith, a book. The best of the hadith, a book. So the Quran itself is a hadith. So now we have, a, even the Quran, we not, are you sure that this is the correct Quran? Because there's many Muslim, they believe that this is not the correct Quran. So we have weak Quran, weak angel, weak Allah. Not only that, you see, Islam is so weak to the point like when Allah, he wanted to send his messenger, his angel. To Muhammad, there was a, a dog, a puppy. What? A puppy. 
under the bed of the Prophet and the angel he could not enter the house of the Prophet because of a puppy okay Muslims who they are listening is that a hadith is weak or strong I got a Muslim telling me Qatalu means fight with words all right, let me open my Skype because I logged off. <clears throat> no problem. I'm a Muslim. I can debate you in chat. But I don't debate in chat, my friend. The only way is to call me. You have a Skype, you don't have a microphone. And that doesn't make sense. Uh, let us see this Muslim here. Yeah, this guy is already, I ban him. This is this is an evil person. Yeah. Those are the same ones we called them before. They did not answer. They are playing games. And the one you just sent me is the one who play uh, porn. Now, a Muslim, he just said in the text, we will take what he said into consideration. He said that the word qatilu uh, uh, means fight with words. Okay, we will we will take your, you know, we will take your words for granted, my friend. You are the Muslim smart who, who knows what the word qatilu means. Well, here we go. Let us see what your prophet said about the word qatilu. Shall we? This is the word qatala. And you see, like it's an incident or an accident uh, to come through this story here. You are the one who mentioned it. We have to go for it. The prophet said, in the day of Badr, he who kill a man, he will get such and a such. See, he is encouraged him by money. The one who assassinate, the one who kill people, he will get such and such. And the one who kill, and the one who captive a man, he will get such and a such. Do you see it? Now, is that a weak? It says Sahih. But uh, trust me, there's somebody will say to you, oh, we don't accept this hadith. It's embarrassing. Forget about this one. I mean, what kind of a prophet? He's promising money to kill for killing people. But if you go back, what about this? Is that Sahih or strong? I want any Muslim he have the courage and the knowledge to call us. It says Sahih, as you see. But you know what? I think all Islam is weak. Muhammad is weak. Allah is weak. We will go back to the puppy soon. It says here, whoever kills a house lizard with one blow will have such and such reward which may reward from Allah whoever kills it with two blows he will have such and such reward from Allah less than the first and then the one who killed with the three blow okay Muslims why the Prophet of Allah is doing jihad in the lizard now you want to tell me this is weak it's not weak We mentioned to you that the Quran says that there's a three messengers in the Quran was sent by Allah and they are according to all Islamic scholars they are the messengers of the Messiah. We ask you who is the Muslim hero he can name for us those messengers. Each time we read for you something from your books you say uh, <clears throat> it's weak, uh, <clears throat> it's rejected. Uh, 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 <laughs> okay. Can you give me an authentic story about those three messengers which is not rejected? You want to do that? Forget about the lizard now. Uh, Muslim prince, I called dirty with AIDS. Well, uh, you know, uh, why Muslims women, they have dirty with AIDS? That's a good question, my friend. Well, they are the one who said that to me. I was answering them. They said the Christian women, they have AIDS. 
Hmm? According to science, Muslimic countries is full of AIDS. So why you are saying Christian women they have AIDS? How many people have AIDS in Saudi Arabia, in Kuwait, in Mecca, in Egypt? There is a special program from European Union to help you, to aid you, to stop AIDS from spreading all over Islamic countries. Why are you call Muslim women? You know? And let me tell you what your Muslim woman she said to me. Do you know what she said to me? Mean. This is one of the decent women you Muslims you say, hey, brother. Do you know the Christian prince is harassing a Christian and a Muslim woman? This is your Muslim women, the decent Muslim women. Listen to her and laugh. Show me where you, show me where it says in the Bible kiss the cross. No, show me, show me. No, I don't, no, I don't, no, I don't, I don't, I don't kiss anything. Show me where you can, why you're a prophet, you why you're a prophet, the pagan prophet, why your pagan prophet kiss a stone. Your prophet is a pagan man. Why he kisses stone? Why he kisses stone? Listen, 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 listen. Why? the Holy Spirit, the what? God in the heavens. I know, I know all this. Okay, I live in Arabia. I live in Africa. You know, you know where? You know where? You, know, you know what? You know what? Why you kiss? Why your prophet kiss the black stone? He's a pagan. You are a pagan. Did you kiss a stone or not? Did you? Do you, you, you kiss a stone? Who created the black stone? Who created the black stone? Who created? Are you there, Muslim Prince? This is this is the video your filthy Mimi hijab he cut from and he pasted. He's a coward like you. Look what she said. The black stone. Jesus. Jesus? No, don't, Jesus don't create stones. He created the whole world. But you must no, you, you must kiss his stones, right? Why why your prophet kissed the black stone? Did he kiss the black stone? Jesus kissed nothing. Your prophet did. Why your prophet kisses stones? Okay, Jesus. Jesus do more actually. Worse, actually, ah, he play with his so mother boobs. Tell me why he's doing he, that. He play with his mother. What? You must why? be okay. You see, you see, guys. You see, guys. You so this is the cowards, the Muslim cowardness. They cut a video. They cut it pieces. They put words together and they make a new video, which is not there. Cowards. She was the filthy one. She is the savage one. You claim that you Muslim, you respect Jesus and you respect Mary. This woman, she said that Isa, the prophet of Allah, was playing with Mary Boops and he was a guy. This is her words. So because of the filthy hijab, he cut the videos. And you can cut my videos as much as you want. People laugh. Everybody knows. And I do things in public. I don't do it in private. Everything is and not only I publish it. Actually, this, this video was in my page for almost two years. <laughs> And I am the one each time I finish before I go I say please download my videos and thank God you people download them because here we go They will make lies and they will cut and they they do duct taping So you say to me you Christian or not just I say will you you are you cleaner than us? No, what I said is not bad. Why is bad? Is it true? When when a Muslim woman hold on you see Muslim Prince can, can call me if you want when you're a prophet, he order Muslim men to do muta. Is that going to spread AIDS or love? What muta? Muta is a woman going from a man to a man to a man to a man. So I'm asking you, and this is serious, decent question. I'm not asking to insult you. When a Muslim woman she do muta, is that going to spread love? Or AIDS. I'm waiting for your answer. Muhammad, he made it so easy. To the point you can ask a woman who is hungry, abusing her need for food, to sleep for, with her for the sake of food, what you will say? You will say this is weak? Is this is a weak hadith? Say week, yeah. Here we go. So, is this going to spread uh, uh, AIDS or not? When you Muslims, you go and kiss the black stone, and millions, two million people, they will kiss it in a few days. Is that going to spread diseases or not? Whatever the diseases are. When a Muslim woman, she cannot go back to her husband unless she sleep with the new husband. When you are a prophet, he allow you to have a travel marriage. Don't you have a travel marriage? Deny it. Call me and I will show you the reference. 
if you are moving from a city to a city you can marry a woman for a few days during the time of the trip which means you Muslim consider women as the same as laptop yes this will spread spread AIDS yeah what what what, what will make AIDS what AIDS what AIDS is AIDS is a virus when you don't have one partner clean partner you have multiple partners one of them is going to carry the disease to the rest if one of them is infected the rest will be infected as simple as that so when Islam allow multiple marriage and easy divorce and muta marriage one night stand one hour stand 15 minutes stand travel marriage girlfriend marriage uh, all marriage all kind of fiction marriage it's not marriage this is sexual you know uh, 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 lost this is all will spread days yes prove me wrong what what uh, how AIDS spread is if you if you sleep only with your wife and all your wife only sleep with you you will never have AIDS as simple as that unless it's like by mistake like let us say you receive a donation of a blood in hospital or something maybe but usually it's not the case it is sexual disease so I'm asking you my friend do you agree with your prophet that the women she have An opportunity to eat if she is hungry by giving her some food and she take off her panty and now you can record my voice and cut the word says Christian Prince he says panty what do you say The right way says yes, that's right. CP has often said that Jesus says love your enemy. Uh, the right way you are you are a potato because all my videos actually just the video I finished I said I said love the Muslims, don't hate them. Almost every video I do I, I speak I say that you are a potato, my friend. Is that correct, people? Go or watch my videos. I say don't hate Muslims. Love them. They need your need. They are they are poor people. They are misguided, misguided. So you are just another potato. They are the one who preach hate. They are the one who preach sexuality. They are the one who, who promote it, who do it. And then they accuse other of doing it. They claim honor they don't have. So I'm asking the Muslims, is it right that the woman, obviously this woman, she is not seeking the man. She needs to eat. There's a story about a woman. She was in the desert and she was dying. And I can show you the reference immediately if a Muslim were not willing to call me. And the man, he said to the woman, she asked him for food. He said, well, I have food, but... You have to sleep with me. The woman, she said, but I'm dying. Please, you know, he said, no, you, okay. You want to, you want to, you want to have food? I will feed you. You have to sleep with me. The woman, she agreed because she have no choice. She will die. After he slept with her and he gave her some food, he gave her a handful of date. Imagine that's all. just to survive after that she went to the caliphate and she told the caliphate this guy he raped me he said how he raped you she told him the story she told him i was dying hungry in the desert and i asked him for food and he said i will not feed you unless you sleep with me the caliphate, he said, Mahar, 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 this is a dewari, this is your dewari. He did not rape you. If there is any Muslim he dare to debate me and to prove me and to get me busted that I'm lying about the story, please do. Any Muslim? So 
the Muslim, they say Christian women are bad. They call us all kind of names. They fabricate lies about us. And when we answer them, they get upset, get upset. I don't care. You get what you deserve. Your religion does not give your women any dignity. Any cult who promote sexual activities for the sake in the in the return of money is obviously it's a cult, is not from God. It's not from God. Who is a Muslim would like to uh, call me and challenge me to show him the reference? That the caliphate he considered the man who raped a woman who is dying from hunger that is a marriage who want to do that so anything is embarrassing they will say it is weak anything look ugly and disgusting Forgiven that adulteress was added later. It's a proof, huh? You see, you can say whatever you want, you, but you just approved to me that Islam is a stupid. The guys, do, let me show you what this guy is said. Uh, first, let us answer this one. Uh, Muhammad Hijab, he said the chain of narration of the hadith you showed yesterday about Paul uh, because of, of al -Jabri. So first of all, this is not a family jabbery, and I told that live on air. I told this idiot, I'm reading from a different book. He's a donkey. He does not know what I'm talking about. It's not even reported from that. You know, this, this, a bunch of kids. Cute, very cute. I'm going to grow them in my backyard. They, You know, because, you know, they have, this guy, by the way, he prepared those questions in advance, supposed to have an answer, but he never expected me to show him that book. He was expecting me to show a different one. This is why he have the wrong stupid answer, because he's a potato. <laughs> now let us go uh, to uh, where is this guy? He said, "Okay, hold on." Arabian prophet, do you know that the Bible passage about Jesus forgiving the adulteress was added later? It's a proven. Okay, the Bible is corrupt, guys. Is that is that me who's saying that? Now, if I say the Quran is corrupt, the Muslim, they will say you are offending us. The Quran is full of AIDS. Oh, the Quran is full of AIDS. You're you are insulting us. My friend, here we go. You just approved that your God, Allah, have AIDS. Because if the Bible is corrupt, that means Allah is corrupt. Isn't it? The Quran says that this is the Bible of Allah. And now you are fighting hard to prove to us that the Bible of Allah is corrupt. So what's my problem? Now I want you to download my videos and say Christian Prince he said Allah has AIDS. Can you do it? Here we go. Nazala alayka bil haqqi musaddiqan lima bayna yadayhi wa anzala at-Tawrat wal Injil. Allah is the one who sent the Torah and Allah is the one who sent the Injil and you are saying they are corrupted. So what you are trying to prove to us that the book of Allah is corrupt. Thank you very much. So what's my problem? That's your problem. Allah have AIDS, according to you. And by the way, he, uh, AIDS is a disease. But this guy, obviously, his disease is bigger than AIDS. He claimed to be God. Yet, he cannot protect his book. This is his book. So, you you know, you Muslims, because you are you, you have a low IQ when you talk. I wish you can be smarter. At least, you know, it's a sometime I wish I can have something challenging for somebody like he can make things challenging hard to debate me but it's so easy I mean it's so silly and so stupid so thank you very much for proving to us that Allah cannot be God because this is the book of Allah and Muslims saying the book of Allah is weak Allah is weak right this is what you are saying to us And when you say it's a proven, we laugh. 
if somebody he make a book and he said it's a, you know it's not uh, it's added that's because he's a stupid you know we have the bible is spread all around the earth so if you try to make your study in latin who said that the document of the bible is in latin we have the books in aramaic we have the books spread all over by icons you know the 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 the, the early christians they made icons icons not necessarily pictures icons of writing they have manuscript by tens of thousands in ethiopia in egypt in all the way to india all the way to bombay so the bible is spread around the earth there is no way you can corrupt it secondly i will go with you for the sake of argument if this bible is coming from allah and you are saying to me allah he sent the bible and this bible is corrupt so this is the problem of who because at the end of the day the one who write the book is his book. So the Injil is not my book. I follow the book. This is not my book. Additional to this, just to show you how stupid a statement when the Muslim they say the Bible is corrupt. What the what the Quran call us in the Quran? Guys, what the Quran call us? What is the name the Quran give us as a Christians and Jews? People of the book, right? Okay, how we don't have a book and you call us people of the book? Who is the donkey here? There's a guy, he have no hair, and I call him, the guy is bald. And I say the guy with the hair. Isn't it, this is your book saying the people of the book? So, our book is corrupted, which means we have no book, or we have a book. If our book is corrupted, how you call us people of the book? There's one of two choices, either Allah taking too much hashish, or he is a hashish vendor. Because you cannot call us people of the book unless we have a book. Any Muslim want to respond? <clears throat> Can you accept my challenge to debate? I think this is the same kid he is trying to play games. Here we go. Christian Prince, how are you doing? I'm fine, my friend. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. Um, I watched the debate yesterday. You said you want to debate me. Yes, I want to challenge you. All right, I'm here. Go ahead. Um, I, I want to see the the um the chapter and the verse that you've quoted um yesterday regarding uh um Paul. Regarding you gave Paul? you gave yeah you gave reference, but um. Um, I, I didn't hear you. You said something, but then they muted you. So oh, um, oh, it's in front of you. Chapter 36, verse number 13 and 14. <laughs> uh, verse number 13. Mm -hmm. 13 and 14. Okay. Uh, can you show it in Arabic as well? My friend, open your Quran. I, you... I'm, on your, I'm on your YouTube. Um... Okay. Here we go. It says, Arsalna well, ilayhum. So we sent to them two, and they accused him of lying. So we send, we string them with a the third, and they said, "For you, we are being sent." Who yes, are but it those doesn't three say, messengers? Okay, but it doesn't say bulos, does it? Well, this is your Islamic books interpretation saying bulos. And what was, you, you showed uh, tafsir for that? Version. I have tons of tafsir. It's not only one. I have. Uh, this you know I can in one click in my in my finger I can get you a new book every second what do you want here we go I want the one you showed yesterday okay hold on hold on let us see the one I can show you the one I sent yes. yesterday this is tafsir Ruhul Ma'ani at tafsir and this is the website have the great tafsir only great tafsir.com this is the website look what it says here let me let me zoom in you speak Arabic and that's wonderful because that will help me so we do not need to use the stupid google translation which is wrong 
you see my screen right my friend yes yeah, coming it's coming all right it's taking some time okay let us build delay okay oh yeah I can, see it now. can you can you read for us and translate please my Arabic is not that good but I can so read what you say to me a second ago show me the text in Arabic I can understand a little bit hmm. But the one who can understand a little bit, he cannot read a little bit anyway. I mean, what, what you said to me, show me in what you said to me, show me in Arabic if you do not know how to read Arabic. No, I I, I can I can read. Okay, read for but, me. Go ahead. Okay. Walbu uh el, I don't <laughs> I do know a little bit, but not I'm, I'm not I'm not good in Arabic. Right. I need to I need to admit it. So now you are saying to me, show it to me. So what's the purpose of showing it to you if you cannot read it? Well, I thought you have it in English. Mm. No, I don't have it in English. I have it always in Arabic. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, anyway, well, go let me read for you. No problem. And you can ask any Muslim later to read for you, anyone who speaks Arabic. Please, silence, please. The, Bolus, the, the messenger, Paulus. This is your Muslim saying, calling him messenger. In his letter to the king of the Roman, in the Ruha Tashaduli Arwahana, the spirit, which means the Holy Spirit, witness for our soul. In okay. Abna Allah Ta'ala, we are the children of Allah. Wa Ahibahu and his lovers. Ila Ridalik and etc. From many things he said. And then he said, and he continued here, said. And he said the same in his letter, the third, the fifth letter of Paulus. And Paulus, he said, be careful of being stupid and silly and, and, and insulting and doing fornication and uh, 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 being filthy, uh, like uh, uh, worshipping idols. And uh, uh, this is the one who do that. He have no place in the kingdom of God. Okay. Okay. So this is yeah. your scholars explaining the Quran, saying that... Paul is a messenger of Allah. So what do you say, my friend? So this is the interpretation for the verse you showed me. Basically. This is the interpretation for uh, because they, they put the verses together. So why was okay? <clears throat> so why was um, this guy saying um, show me the chain of narration? That's not in the had hadith. I thought it was my only friend, for that. You see, the, they are stupid. First of all, there's no chain of narration because what chain? This is that. This is the. Yeah, this is, because this is a tafsir. This is tafsir, and the and the tafsir, the one who wrote the tafsir, is writing what he knew. I uh, know that. Uh, that's why I got confused. I was like, what? Yeah. What chain of narration? Because that's this not was a not a hadith anyway. They are a bunch of idiots. Yes, because I got confused. It has to cause... be at the end of the day. It has to be narrated by somebody. However, it doesn't say the one who said that in that uh, you know. But because he was saying that, because he was expecting me to quote different book you know what i mean it's always yeah. i use ibn kathir in english so he was expecting me to use that one and then he would say to me hey, christian prince show us show us polos show us show us you know because supposedly he's ready now but he never expected me to show him different book so he, yeah he so he gave me the wrong answer for the wrong book because he is a he's a he's just a kid yeah he showed he showed a um uh, you quote in a verse which was talking about Al um Al Soybos. I can't remember the guy's name. And then he said, "Oh, what what does what does uh, what does it say, uh, Paul in this verse?" But I can't remember the verse in the chapter. Um, mm. if you give me a second, I can give it to you. So they were trying to say um, anyway, that you friend, quote. I mean, who care about them? Those are a bunch of kids. They are gang, and I'm glad that you are a Muslim and you notice that they are, uh, you know, they are not being honest. And as long as you were watching yesterday, I mean, did you ask yourself as a Muslim, why did not even let me talk? Yeah, I was watching on, uh, I didn't watch on your channel. Where is I watched, the debate? Did we debate? Did, did we really debate yesterday? They did not let me talk. Yeah, it was a mess, really. You know? No, no, it was not a, you know, it's a, it, was, it was for them just a, an opportunity to collect money and ask for donation. This guy, he never make a video without holding a little bag in his hand before he start talking, says buy it, you know, buy it. He's making yeah. a commercial. He's doing business, and this is yeah. the whole idea. They, he would he would claim. First of they all, he, he posted in his, he posted in his page saying, "Tomorrow yeah. we will go live and we will uh, 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 six o'clock yeah, and we will give a Christian prince fifteen minutes to call." Uh, shouldn't you tell a Christian prince that you are challenging him to come and call? 
how I will know. But what if the second day I did not show? And he said, we will give him 15 minutes to call. Otherwise, he will miss the boat, which means they will not let him talk, you know, after 15 minutes. And then Hello. because I challenged him right away, I opened live chat and said, okay, here we go. I'm here. And the second day I insist to call. So it became like a big scandal for him. It's going to be exposed. So he said, okay, uh, let him let him call us, but he did not let me talk. I saw, yeah, the world. I also saw a video that he posted uh, about you reading um, chapter 9, verse 30, and uh, you didn't pronounce one of the uh, words cor correctly because I think that you had Tashkil or whatever. No, um, my friend, I did not. No, no, no. You see, I may, I know I can read it for you right now. I can read it tomorrow, and you can read it in Arabic as well and understand yeah, a little friend, bit. No, I did not mispronounce. He is a liar. He, no, he I'm, was I'm, saying no, no, no. He did not say. You see, he, he is a stupid, yeah. my friend. He's a stupid. What he said that I did not read it correctly. He meant, uh, uh, as I believe, that I did not understand the term or the way the sentence is coming. So no, no, it's about your um, pronunciation of the Arabic with the Tashkili no kasra. My, friend, my video is there. You can listen to it one thousand times. And I know. I, will change. Yeah, I not, and I it's challenge it's anyone to show me the mistake. Can you show me the mistake? No, because for me it doesn't really matter how okay, you pronounce so, it, <laughs> my friend. And I made a video about it again. And not only that, I went to the. There's a website. <laughs> oh, funny. My friend, have, have have you ever heard of a website called Quran.com? Yeah. Okay. Quran.com. There is something about it that you can move your mouse in the top of the word, and it show you uh, the translation. Is that correct? Oh yeah, the, yeah. There's many. There's many web websites like that. Okay, but we, you know, it's not about. I don't care really for the website, but this is your Muslim website, correct? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to put it in the front of you on the screen. He said I did lie about the translation. Correct. Yeah. Okay. So I will go and see what the translation is saying and all what need to do. Christian Prince, he said, and this is his claim, and you can play my video again. The video he was playing. That the Christian prince, he said that they've been all, that, that they, 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 they are worshiping. They took their uh, monks and rabbis as gods instead of the Messiah, in the stead of Allah and Jesus. Correct? You're talking about chapter nine, verse thirty, right? Yes. Yeah. Thir yeah. 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 Thirty. Thirty-one. This is thirty-one. Now I will show. I will do the same I did just to show everybody who is the liar. This no, is my understand. translation, and you can play my video again. They took their monks. Their, their rabbis and their monks as gods instead of Allah and the Messiah, son of Mary. Yeah. Okay, this yeah, is what I said. Okay, well, look, yeah. I will put my mouse in the top of the word. Do you see it? No, but I understand, I understand what you're saying. I understand most no, of No, no, no. Let, just, just, let, let us put it together. Does it say there? Okay. They have taken. Does it say that? Yeah. Do you see it? They have yeah, taken. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ahbarahum, their rabbis. Okay. Yeah. Wahubanahum and their monks. So now let us put a sentence. They have took taken their rabbis and their monks okay as god you see it as god as lord yeah. okay minduni minduni is one word which means beside allah and the messiah yeah so what is my lie yeah well yeah we yeah, have but that's basic arabic what means and he it says clear for yes me. and this is the translation you see this is this is your muslim website so he said, they did not know, don't read that. You know, they, 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 we are laughing, but the, he, I will tell you why he was trying to do that because it's very embarrassing. The Arabic says something, and the Muslims' interpretation is something else. I believe that this is Muhammad. He said that when he was an Asara, at that moment, he was not really a Muslim, he was an Asara. Muhammad, he married Khadija. Is it correct? Yes, okay. Khadija was an Asara, correct. Uh, I'm not sure. Okay, I believe so. I heard, right yeah, now, you can go to Prophet Google, peace upon him, and search it. Khadija was Nasara. In order okay. to marry from a Nasara, you have to be Nasara. All right. Nasara, they will not, because Nasara is a, coming from a Christianity, supposedly. They are a Christian cult. So they will not marry you unless you are one of them. Okay. For it's adultery to marry someone from different faith. So, okay, in order so for Muhammad to marry Khadija, he have to be Nasara himself, and this is what happened. Hmm. So, Muhammad here saying that you should, those who took their monks and rabbis as God instead of the Messiah and Allah, for they are one God. Okay, so you're saying that these verses came when uh, he basically My wanted friend, to... I am not saying, even, even if you go, even if you go right now, no, I'm trying to understand your argument. Yeah, uh, my argument is so clear. The, the verse says, my, my, I have no argument, the verse in front of you. 
the argument saying that clearly now the Muslims in order to solve the problem they say oh no 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 in Arabic we can put the word at the end you know this is not a true it says well messy you cannot say they took their uh, you see in order for the sentence to be the way they translated the word Messiah should be removed from this side and all, yeah, and also they should have put the rabbis um, and the Messiah, and then right. Uh, so the word al Messiah should be moved yeah. from here, and then we put it here before at least. Yeah, min yeah. yeah, it would have made more That's sense. It. So if this is a lie he is making. Min Allah, wal Messiah ibn Maryam. Well, I don't know much Arabic, but in Arabic, when you say we can say something, um, you can say I don't know. Um, you know whatever and then you say was something and then that means and, and correctly. so as simple as that so there's no so, do you have like a yeah. synonym and, in Arabic? and, is and, it, and oh. it have to be followed to the one was before it not the one was 10 hours before yeah right? yeah the same is in english you say and this is and here this is the letter uh, yeah. and so and is between two names the first name is yeah. allah the second name is al masih so allah and al masih as simple as that yeah that's clear that's crystal clear mm -hmm. And I think also the English trans translation there it says and also well in brackets, but it says and also the Messiah, yeah, doesn't it? Now you see, yeah, you see here, but the uh, okay, you see the between two bracket and also. Well, it doesn't matter they if you say and also, it yeah, doesn't matter. Okay, uh, they have taken their scholars and monks as Lord beside Allah and the Messiah. You see it, even in their translation yes. saying what I said, <laughs> which is very funny, you know. Yeah, this is the Muslim translation. This is not my translation. So he's saying I am I don't understand. He's saying I do not know how to read it. He's not talking about my Arabic reading. He, he says they didn't know grammar. You see, grammar. What no, grammar? I think uh yeah, I don't know. I think they was talking about a different verse you're reading and no, you no, didn't. he said this verse, my friend. Yeah, but, but even if you anyway, anyway, to, my friend, my friend, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay, let's, hold on, hold on. You see. If he's trying to disapprove me as a person who have knowledge, you then you debate me, and we do what we are doing right now, me and you. Not yeah. saying uh, mute him, mute him, you know, and uh, uh, read it for me, read it. I'm not a kid to order me to read or not. I just you just played my video. I did read it for you in the video. I did read it, right? And he didn't. Yeah, and he didn't answer any questions. So, I was waiting so for. So why are asking me to read it again? I mean, this is a kid's talk. Is it yeah. in the video you played? Christian Prince was reading and he said he's reading it word by word. Okay, I did read it already. So what this is read it, read it again. Yeah. Yeah, it was strange. I was waiting for his answer, but he didn't answer anything. That's I was no, my shocked. friend. This is all is a is a is a pre-plan. Pre they will not let me talk because if I talk, they got busted. Yeah. Yeah, it was a bit weird because I was waiting for answers and I kept muting you and I couldn't even hear you properly. Well, they put it in purpose. They put the computer in the other side of the room. So even if I talk, they will be able to hear me. But people in the microphone, they will not. Yeah, I could only hear them, but not you. Yeah, you know, this is the point that when I talk, even when I talk, nobody will hear. But I got him busted because I have the video running in my chat, in my uh, channel. So they cannot, you know, the plan is he will say whatever he wants and nobody will hear me. Yeah, and I saw many people. Um, in uh, there's a guy, he said, Al Masih, Al Masih. Have a kasra, not a well, Messiah. Ha, <laughs> well, this is your pronunciation. It's a kasra. Yeah, and really by the way, just to show you how, how ignorant you are about kasra and fatha, first of all, the Quran used have no kasra, no fatha, and no dots. Yeah, but that's not an argument because mm -hmm. in, even in English, if you put um, an English person and uh, someone from America to read, they might pronounce it different, but that doesn't change the meaning of the word or what it means. You know, you actually, if you want to show mistakes in the Quran, there is endless mistakes in Arabic and the Quran. You know what's funny? He was surprising to me because Ali Dawah himself doesn't speak Arabic; he's Turkish, so yeah. I don't know. Yeah. He was making fun. Well, yeah. uh, even even Hijab, he don't speak Arabic really. Hijab, he don't. He's, a, he's an idiot. You know, go and see and, and laugh at the way he recited the Quran. Yeah. You know? Well, you carried yourself well, so yeah. I'm Secondly, not, um, there is a three hundred million Indonesian don't speak Arabic. So what we will say they are stupid now Yeah hmm? Okay, yeah, you're a prophet himself. He do not speak. He don't you don't know how to read I Mean this is hilarious. They are insulting their prophet because the second you are making an argument about he knew to read or not 
Uh, you are talking about your prophet. You, you, if, if the person who claimed to be a prophet, he cannot read. Okay. And I claim yes. to be a scholar, I cannot read. So what a different... I yeah, am, they said you claim to be an Arabic scholar. Um, um, no, that's I why never they... said I am an Arabic scholar. I am, I am a scholar in Islam. Arabic is my first language. I did not study Arabic. I did not have a degree in Arabic. I never said that. That is a lie. I never yes. said I have a degree in Arabic. Did I? I don't know. I don't. I don't. Well, I, don't no, watch I have videos. a degree in Islam. I have a bachelor degree in Islamic law. As simple as that. I never said. And for sure, I have more degrees, but those they have nothing to do with the topic. Yeah. So this is a, this is a lie. For answers, and I didn't get any answers. Like... My friend, this is this is a bunch of uh, trashy people who they were trying to put you down. They cannot refute me, and they are afraid of me talking. And this is what happened. Otherwise, they would debate me. Okay, why would he talk to somebody else? He said to him, answer me, silence me. What about you do the same? Shall I tell you something funny? <laughs> okay, go ahead. Yeah, um, he challenged um, Sam Shamun to an um, MMA fight <laughs> on his Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> go on his Twitter. Right? <laughs> so he is, he, is, he, is, he is promoting violence now. He, he challenged Sam to a uh, MMA fight um, in a cage. <laughs> yeah. How old is Sam? I think he's an old guy, isn't it? I don't know. I, I, I never met any of them, my friend. Anyway, yeah, any, anything else you want to say, my friend? No, it's just this. I wanted I wanted to um to hear uh, the side of your um your your argument because you and know friend, he kept I have no I, I have no anything. argument. My argument is Islam, as you see. I just read for them what is written in their books. They get upset. As, yeah, that's, that. yeah, that's yeah. I just want the clarification, and yeah, 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 everything I say, and because they are a bunch of kids, they they thought they are prepared for me, you know, they 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 prepare videos, and supposedly those videos will get Christian Prince busted. What is yeah, it? And, and those videos are against you. Your sister, she was saying Jesus, he played with his mother boobs. Oh well, yeah, 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 yeah. Sort of what they call you, predator or whatever. Yeah, I see how how faithy they are, and they made a video for uh, apostate prophet saying he liked to have sex with his his sister and his mother. Filthy people. Yeah, 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 yeah. They claim to uphold. Well, it doesn't represent us. They just, you know, just next, you know, well, in every. Friend, okay, who is the one who present represent you? With my respect to you, you see, you sound like a nice guy. You are yeah. a Muslim. Who represent you? Do Muhammad represent you? Well, are you talking about apologist or no? Muhammad, Muhammad, the, the one you call him a prophet. Do he represent you? Well, yeah. Uh, well, he's a um, the prophet, so okay. yeah. So we cannot say that Muhammad does not represent Islam, right? Of course not. All right. So if we go right now in the Quran, yeah, or in the Hadith, what do you like me to show you from way of reference about Muhammad, the bad person? Or uh, from a um, Sahih um, narration or from the Quran, okay. doesn't matter. All right. So uh, he wants Sahih. Okay, I like that. You know, Sahih. Let us see that. <clears throat> you hear him yesterday speaking about, uh, he played a video that a woman, she was debating me. And uh, I said to her, yeah. you, are you willing to suck on me, right? Okay. Oh yeah, the panties. Are you gonna give me your panties and that kind of stuff? Yeah. Okay, this is your prophet, and this is Sahih. Ordering Muslim women. This is why the Muslim women. She was saying to me, Jesus, he played with his mother boobs, which is a lie and stupid. I yeah. said to her, Well, okay, are you going to suck on me, your prophet? He said, Are you willing to do what your prophet said? Your yeah. prophet said that a Muslim woman she can give her breast to an adult man, and this is Sahih. So. Do Muhammad yes. Muhammad Hijabi don't present you? You said Muhammad the Prophet he present you. Do you accept such a man to be a prophet? Well, let me read it. Um, wow. And is this a Sahih source? Yeah, this is Sahih Muslim. See, it? it's a difference, numbers. Yeah, it's absolutely sorry. Wow. Yeah. So, so uh, 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 if Muhammad Hijab now he posted in uh, Twitter that uh, yeah. uh, I order you from now on, Muslims, women, to give your boobs to a stranger. What you will say about him? You will say he is sick and he is filthy. Correct. 
Yeah. Okay, well, you cannot be honest and say Muhammad is sick and filthy like Muhammad Hijab then. Um, let me have another read. Give me a second. Who, uh, but who did he say this to? He said the woman, her name is Sahla bintu Suhail. Oh, yes, Salam. Sahla bintu Suhail. Yeah. yeah the, the Muslim who says to me that the the, the word Masih Majrura is a Kesra, and this is why yeah. it goes back to the verb. That's because you are silly, my friend. First of all, as I said, the Quran never have Kesra and never have Fatha. That is your silence. And not only that, don't have even dots. Yeah, so, yeah but that's. But let's, let's go back to you. So, what do you think about your prophet saying such a thing? Yes, it's disgusting. Okay, so are you going to leave Islam or you will follow Muhammad Hijab? I don't follow um, Hijab. No, you follow Muhammad Hijab. Muhammad Hijab, he says he have no problem if his daughter is six years old and want to get married, if she is ready. What did he say that? Well, you can search the video. Raw. No, yeah, I don't agree with that. Yeah. Well, why you don't agree with that? Muhammad, he have he ha, he didn't get married to Aisha at the age of six, right? Yeah. Okay. So is that discussion? Yeah, or not? yeah. But I've heard many um, I've heard many versions of the story. Um, some people say um, she was eighteen. Uh, no, no, my back. friend. There's not a there's not a single uh, reference says she was eighteen. It's a big fat lie. Yeah, but um, the Shia narrative is that. No, there's um, no Shia say such a thing too. No, no, Shia say that she was um, she was older than um, six. But there's no hadith of Shia say she was old. That's not a true. Those yeah. are all article made by a bunch of dummies trying to defend Islam by fabricating. Actually, there's a website mm. uh, uh, where. Uh, uh, you know, speak about uh, about uh, this uh, this issue. Um, I've, read, I've read um i don't know there's a guy called imam tawhidi and he's got a book and he talks about this about um aisha's age and he says that um this it says um that in fact she was 18 but because she wasn't virgin some people said she's six and um, yeah, Aisha, she's, when muhammad died she was not even 18 so how he married her after he died those are stupid people. They have to give us reference where they got this. We are laughing. And this guy who claimed he's a Shia, right? Okay. Yeah. Uh, in the book of Tahrir uh, al uh, uh, this is his Imam, the one he listened to. And this yeah. is the Marja'iyya, which means, uh, 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 you know, they, they say it's, it's the highest for Muslim Shia. He yeah. say that a Muslim man, he can even have... Uh, Sexual, well, yeah, it's strange. Sexual, this uh, census. Uh, joy with infant, mm. with infant. Yeah, I never go an answer for this. I still don't know what's going on because you know some people say this, other people say that. It's just like it's all over the place. No one agrees on this thing. It's like it's in the air. Yeah, and I can show the reference. I can show even the page. I can show even a photocopy of the page. If I'm Muslim Shia, he will say this is not true. So why they lie and they say uh, this is not a true? I mean, this is a lie. All Shia they agree that sex with the children is very lawful. No, I'm not saying I'm not I'm not agreeing with the Shia. I'm just saying. <clears throat> okay, what about the Quran? Isn't it the Quran <laughs> says? Okay, let me ask you: Do you divorce? Yeah. Do, you, do you divorce before you get married or after you get married? Uh, before. You divorce people before you get married. Wait, say that again. You divorce if you want to divorce somebody. Shouldn't you be, you marry the the person first? Oh yeah, you married them first, of course. Okay, if we go to the chapter of at talaq right? At talaq Yeah. Okay. Well, it's, it's speaking about divorcing the little ones who did not have their menstruation yet. So how we divorce them, but they are not married to us yet, and they are kids. What the hell? Chapter sixty-five, verse number four. Sixty-five, four. Such a few women. Three months and for those who have no clue.
But what does it say that? What does it say? It like, says they did not have their period. And those tried. who did not have their period, they are talking about divorcing women. So you divorce course. women, okay? Yeah. Either because they are, they, they are, uh, you know, like those who the Islam and Mahid, the old women who didn't have their period no more. Because Islam forced Muslim women to stay for three months after divorce. She cannot remarry again, correct? Yes. Okay. So now, what if uh, it's not three months actually, three period? So what about the woman? She have no period because she is old. It says you stay for three months, and the same for the the, the female who have never had period. This is what the, the verse saying. And if you don't believe me, you can open right now Ibn Kathir or Qurtubi al Tabari al Jalalain. Whatever interpretation you want. No, it's fine. Hmm. So, so you're saying that this verse um, says that you divorcing. can marry. No, this is about girls. divorcing children. So divorce, you divorce children, but you can't marry children. Of course, you can. <laughs> and you can yeah. change the translation if any. You know, that this guy. Oh, this is a translation of Yusuf Ali. <laughs> Let us see. Uh, you know, you, you can change from your side whatever translation you want. It's up to you. This is Hilary Khan. Here we go. Do you see what it says? And those, Wait. and for those who have no courses, i.e., they are still those immature. Women have passed the age of monthly course for them to you know, prescribe period. If you have doubts about the period, is three months. And for those who have no course, i.e., they are still immature, they either prescribe periods three months, because except in case of death. And for those who are pregnant, whether they are husband or husband, until they what? I scroll it down until they. So do you see it? They are the immature. Yeah, right? yeah. Okay, yeah, so are, they, are they going to say this is weak Quran now? No. They're probably gonna say look at the tafsir and then say look at the well, no problem. We can go to tafsir. Tafsir agree. All tafsir agree, not even single one says no. Well, I didn't know this. Yeah, yeah that's something new to me. <clears throat> So uh, okay, I'm still I'm not sure. You know, you are. Where is your stand now? Still, you I want to be a Muslim. Um, I ha I have I have um I have my doubts. Okay, so why you don't leave Islam? So I'm what I'm showing you now. Uh, how long you are watching my videos? Um, I haven't watched them really. Probably I've probably watched like three or four of your videos. I haven't watched okay, much. How, how you learn about me from Muhammad Hijab? Yeah, I watched um, um okay. what's it called videos and stuff. No, I saw the debate so, yesterday as well. Okay, so what is making you believe until now in, in, in Islam? Let us kill that uh, that point. What is making you believe in Islam? Tell me the reason, so I can I can I can clear it out for you. Uh, um, I don't I don't know really. It's more um, is is the community and that kind of stuff. It's like whenever whenever I raise an issue, they say no. Uh, don't listen. Don't listen to the kafirs. Um, don't blah, listen blah. to me, my friend. Listen to the Quran. Here we go. The Quran in front of you. Are you listening to me? No, the Quran says. <laughs> yeah. You know. Let me ask you. Yesterday yeah. we had uh, what it's called funny debate, right? Yeah. So imagine you are fighting with two females. One of them is her name is Mimi, and the one her name is Lily. Yeah. Two women. They are your wives. You know, you as a Muslim, you have four wives as lawful for you, right? Yeah. Okay. If a man and he is strong, do he need support of the following? And I want you to read for me the verse in the Quran, chapter 66, verse number four. Muhammad, he have a fight with two of his wives, Mimi oh, and Lily. Sense. Mimi Hijab and Lily Dawa. Aisha and Hafsa. Look what he said. If you don't turn into Allah in repentance, then you should know. Actually, let us say this. Uh, you can read translate. You should know. Then verily, Allah, and He is uh, the uh, Allah is His protect protector. Yeah. And Jibril, and every righteous Muslim, My and Jibreel. furthermore, all the angels. All of this to fight with two women. With those, I can fight the whole universe. Here we go, Allah Himself. 
How this can be from God? Okay. Um, do you have another? Do you have an, another verse? This is chapter sixty-six, verse number four. No, I'm asking you. I mean, what kind of a prophet this is? And then he says he is threatening them. Do you see here? It says Asa Rabbahu an Talakakun. Yeah. Okay. Do you know that this is not from Allah? This is from Umar al Khattab. No. Okay. What does it say? That? I will copy the text as it is. I will go to the hadith and I will search for the hadith. And bingo, bingo, you will I find see. that this is what Omar he said, not what Allah said. <laughs> Read for me, my friend. And this is Sahih al Bukhari. I'm sure the, the Muhammadan they will say to us now, this is weak. Oh, yeah, I've also heard. Once, um, yeah, once the pro the wires of the prophet made a united front against the prophet. <laughs> and I said to them, it may be if he, between two brackets, the prophet divorce you. So his Lord will give you instead of you wives better than you. So the verse came down as I have said. Do you see it? Yeah. Okay. Don't they say to us, can you make a verse like this? Can you make Quran like that? Muhammad is stealing from Omar al Khattab. Hold on a second, but who's talking here? Who? So Omar, this verse. Omar, 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 he is saying, look, Omar, Omar he is saying, here we go. Omar al Khattab, he said, my Lord agreed with me in three things, which means Omar. Oh, the is, Russian that invaded um, Jerusalem. Yeah, the Caliphate, okay. the Caliphate Omar. Yeah. Yeah. And this is the campaign. Actually, Muhammad, <laughs> even he says, if there's a prophet will come after me, it's going to be Omar. So, but, but, my, can't you, yeah, but can't you say that Umar was quoting the Quran here? No, my friend, it says that Allah agreed with me, and the verse came as I say. Did you see? Did it does it say in the Muslim translation? So the the the, the verse, so this verse, the same as I had said was revealed. Does it say that? Yes. Okay. So if nobody can make Quran like the Quran of Allah, but this is not the Quran of Allah, this is the Quran of Umar. Mm. Yeah, those are interesting questions that need to. Um, that no, my friend, this is not interesting questions. Those are disaster. What interesting? Because if this is Muhammad copying what Omar he said, obviously Muhammad is a false prophet. Yeah. Well, I'm not. I'm not expert on um, you know Quran and Hadith. My friend, so you do not need to be expert. Here we go. This is Sahih al Bukhari. Can they say to me this is weak? No. No, no, no. Okay. They can't say that. And does it say? And this is your Muslim translation. Is that true? Yeah. Okay. They'll probably say, website, look at the correct? chain of the narration. <laughs> okay. So this is your Muslim website, Muslim translation, Muslim book, and this is Sahih Bukhari. So what is left? It says that Allah, Aka Muhammad, copying from Omar. So where is Allah words? Allah yeah. make the Quran or Omar make the Quran? Yeah, that's interesting. This is not interesting. This is a disaster. And not only that, even the praying to the direction of the Kaaba is the decision of Omar. Read carefully. It says, I thought it was uh, Abraham, wasn't it? Abraham? No, no, the hijab, the hijab. Read carefully with me, our friend. He said the three things, and some hadith says five and six and seven. So he said, I said, Oh Allah Messenger, I wish to uh, to took the station of Abraham as our praying place. So the, the, the verse came down, and then as you know, uh, about Abraham to be the uh, station for prayer, and then. He said, uh, uh, and as regard the verses of veiling the women, the burqa, hijab, uh, Muhammad hijab. Is so who is the one who come with the hijab? Uh, Omar. Omar, he was chasing the wives of Muhammad each time they go to the bathroom. And he insult them and he make fun of them. And he said to Sauda, we have seen you, Sauda. We recognize you. The women, she's doing poo-poo. And then he well, go inside the he house and he said to Muhammad, order your wives to cover up, man. And he, Muhammad, he took what Omar he said and he made the Quran. Well, it doesn't say she was doing poo poo in the thing, but no, um, it says, yeah. my friend, no, 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 it says Christian prince don't say things without proof. Don't, don't challenge me. Don't <laughs> challenge me. You know, you know, right? Are you challenging me or you are just saying doesn't say without knowing? It, no, in the English trans translation, it doesn't say um, poo okay. um, poo. I, I don't, you know, I, I, English translation. Uh, hold on. If you show me Arabic, I'll be able to spot the word. All right. I'm just trying to make it easier for you. No problem. No problem. You see, here it says she went out. I should. 
it's coming. I, I'm, I'm not seeing it yet. Wait, give me a second. So the doctor said, "May peace be upon you." Doing which when? Nice when it was dark. She was a tall, lady. Yeah. Well, she's going out. Well, it's at night. At, at night, where so that she is going? She is going to do poo poo. Yeah, yeah, but you. And you Arabic. Add, okay, here we go. It's the barazna. What the barazna mean? Wait. Do you know that the word baraz? What the word baraz? Oh, uh, I don't know what it means. Mean shit. Wow. Well then, yeah, then you're right. Hmm. Let me Google it one second. So when the poor, poor woman she go out to do popo, which is very normal. I mean, a human being they do that, right? So he yeah. go after her and he say in the dark. Uh, 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 Omar called her saying, Sauda, we recognize you. I mean, look how faithy he is. The woman, she is doing her business. What, what kind of a friend? What kind of a friend? He see my wife. At that time, there's no bathroom. Those are Bedouin people. There's no bathroom. They go, they go, they go out in the open space. In the dark, nobody see them. Wait, but I thought, I thought um, thinking the place for prayer was set by Abraham, um, um, wasn't it? What is that? Was it wasn't wasn't it, um, Abraham that built the place for prayer? Well, this is what they claim. This so is what they claim, it, and they claim so that Abraham and Ishmael was there, right? Yeah. Okay, but uh, uh, what uh, what uh, what the hadith about Omar said? Because at that time, uh, Muhammad was not praying to the Kaaba, and this is a good question. I mean, why Muhammad praying but to Jesus? I heard he was praying yeah. in the early so, stages. So Jews. so what happened? He told them to change the direction after Omar advised him to do that. He copied the verse from Omar. He made it a Quran because simply they want to have a business. They want to force people to go and make a business. And he ordered the Hajj. Yeah, sure. But there's there's a verse in in the um, uh, Quran which says um, which says um, which um, Allah saying you know I've set the place for prayer um, of prayer for you etc etc. Yeah. So it's um, Allah saying I've set the place for prayer or something like that. I can't remember. No problem. Words. But at that moment, the question is why Muhammad was not praying in the direction of the Kaaba if the Kaaba was holy. I think it was because the verse didn't come well, the revelation. Didn't no come problem. Up. So why, if this is the house of Abraham and it exists and the Arab believe in that before even Muhammad, so why yeah. Muhammad was not praying to the Kaaba? Well, he he was praying after after the verse came down, wasn't it? No, after Omar, he said that to him. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So my friend, yeah. if there is something good in Islam is still making you stay as a Muslim, why you don't want to say Islam is a stupid religion? Do you believe really that Allah will give you uh, women with big butt? I don't believe. I'm like, I'm okay. Um, to be honest with you, I'm like, um, almost atheist. To be like, do you know what I'm saying? But it's like, I can't make it public if you know what I mean. I so can't why you don't say Islam is false? Just say it right now. Well, I can say that I don't have a problem with that. There's many okay, things that um, I have problems with. Um, for example, this is one of the problems, you know, you know, the, the, the Umar thing is just, you know, it's just another thing. Okay. It just so doesn't why, make sense. Why you don't say right now, Islam is false? Well, I don't agree with it. Like I told you, I like, I'm, I'm not like um, devoted and that kind no of problem, stuff. No problem, but like, still, are you a Muslim no. or not? Either you say I'm a Muslim or Islam is false. As simple as that. By name, I am by name, but, um, you know, I so don't you practice. you are agreeing that Islam is false, correct? Well, there's many, there's many, um, there's many things that don't add up. So you, yeah, you could say that All if right, you so wish. Thank you very much. It's time is false. So, there's many things. So um, who is a Muslim would... on a call? Who is a Muslim on a call? So we can get our friend here who has left Islam right now, and he learned about my videos from Mimi Hijab. Who wanna call us to save him? This guy now he will not get the seventy versions. Yeah, there's many things that don't add up, and I have trouble with, um, you know, the the violent verses mm. and that kind of stuff. What you know, the most about standards. accepting Christianity, my friend? Why you don't accept the Messiah as your savior? Well, I've heard many uh, <clears throat> things from my friends, such as you know, um, the Bible has been corrupted, um, mm. and you know, many other things that I'm not sure if it's correct or not. It might be just, you know, you know. It, it might be biased. They might be biased in saying that the Bible has been corrupted. So I don't know. I haven't done my research. No so problem. I... If the Bible is corrupted, that's mean the Quran, the book of Allah. Allah is corrupt because according to Islam, the Bible is the book of Allah, right? Uh, wait, what? Isn't it the Quran says that this is the book of Allah? The Bible? Uh, 
No, I haven't read anything like that. What do you mean? So this is why he called us the people of the book. Is it the oh, yeah, not the book. I don't know. I don't Does know what say, book. Chapter three, verse number three, many verses. It yeah. is he who sent down, etc. The gospel of Jesus and the Torah. It's in front of him. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's what he says. Yeah. Okay, so if if the Bible if the Bible is corrupt, that means the Quran is a, a, a garbage. Because the Quran is no different from the Bible in this case. Because, yeah. because well, if Allah is, is the, the one who sent the same books, why Allah will protect one book, He will not protect the others? That's stupid. Yeah, what I've heard from um, um, Muhammad Ijab is that he, he, his argument most of the time is that he, it's not talking about, it's talking about the book that, we, that, um, that was uh, sent, uh, was it called, at that time. He's not talking about the current Bible, isn't it? My friend, it doesn't matter. Isn't it the book of Allah anyway? Allah is in the book. Where is the book? What? And not what? only that, it says here in Arabic, as long as you said you know Arabic, and the 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 the, the, the potato hijab he claimed to know Arabic. It says here in Arabic, Musaddiqan Lima Bainayaday. Approving so what it is between his hand, not what was sent as the translation said. Lima Bainayaday, confirming what is between their hands. Anyone who speaks Arabic. Yeah, and we can do the same actually we can go to the same website the one we use the quran.com <laughs> you know yeah yeah so it's a they lie and there's many verses saying uh, uh not only to what is between their hands this the other one says let us show you yeah yeah i saw i saw you okay so what he approved he approved what is with them do you see it? This is yeah. the, this is the false Muslim translation which they try to provide to us to fool us. It says, and there and when Wait, there comes to them a book from Allah confirming what is with them. So if it is confirmed that this is a book, it's not uh, corrupted. So yes, how is corrupted? Heard, yes, but I've heard the argument that it's not talking about the current. Bible, you're friend, talking no about problem. Bible. No, hold, hold on, hold on. Is it talking about a Bible in the time of Muhammad? No problem. But yeah. isn't it Muhammad? He came 600 years after Paulos. Yeah. Okay. And, the, and those kids, they say that Paul is the one who corrupted Christianity. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So 600 years after Paul, and yet we have the book it never been corrupted. So what is the book of Paul and the corrupt of Paul? And how you can confirm a book after 600 years if in that time the christian they believe that jesus is god and also hold on a second but the jews from what from my understanding is that they have um what's it called um the older part i don't know the bible is, has two parts he, they've got the older part right my friend we have old testament you say this about this and yeah, yeah the so issue is, you see it's confirming both both confirming both it's not just about the old testament okay. new testament all of it Confirming what is with them, the, both the Christians and the Jews. Now, my friend, you, you decide to leave Islam. I want you to think about accepting Christianity. You can call me later anytime you wish. Yeah, sure. I want to answer a, a Muhammadan about something he said because we want to laugh. Yeah, 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 because yeah, it's right. taking so much of the time. Okay, well, anyways, Thank thanks for picking up my call and, um, no you know, for your time. You're welcome. Thank you. All right, have Happy a nice you day. You left Islam, my friend. Because of Muhammad Hijab. <laughs> Now listen, we have a Muslim, he said, he posted in the text the following. All people of the scriptures, Jews and Christians, do not exceed in the limit of your religion, nor say that Allah, but the truth. The Messiah, Isa, the son of Maryam, he was no more between two brackets, a messenger of Allah and his word. And between two brackets, does not exist in the Quran. He bestowed on Mary and spirit Created from him where it says the word created from him It doesn't say that change the translator. You will see the whole words is disappear All this fabrication is gone. Let us go Just to show you how they fabricate because if the translators are translating the same book why the same book does not match You know what I mean if I am the one who translate in the Muslim this is the Christian princess line. Okay, okay, okay. I will change the translator Bingo the words are gone where is it created by him and where is no more and anyway, okay all people of the scriptures no author ought 
uh, uh, sorry, uh, don't exaggerate in your religion nor utter ought concerning Allah save the truth. The Messiah, Isa, not Jesus, there's no Jesus in the Quran, son of Mary, which is Maryam in the Quran, was only messenger of Allah. Hmm? Doesn't say only, by the way, it says messenger of Allah. And his word, which he bestowed or conveyed into Mary, and his spirit from him. Change the translator just to show you how the game changed from between a liar to a liar. Just to give you an idea how things go upside down. All people of the book, commit no excuse in your religion, nor say of Allah ought but the truth. Christ Jesus, the son of Mary, was between two brackets, no more than a messenger of Allah. And his word, look how big the letter is. He bestowed on Mary and the spirit proceeding from him. None of the previous translation, they said that this is Yusuf Ali. So what we learn from this? We learn that Allah have no son, right? According to Muslims. All right. But the Messiah is the word of Allah. Is Muhammad the word of Allah? No. The Muslim, they say to you, the Quran says that Adam is the same as Jesus. Allah, he said to him, be and he was. That's a false statement about both. Because according to the Quran, and let us open the Quran so we can love together. Allah did not create Jesus by saying be. Did he? It says that Allah, he breathed into her private part. Chapter 21, verse number 91. And then we go. Let us go with this one first. Am I making noise? All right. So what he did, he breathed into her of our spirit. He, did, did he say be and he was? Is that how be? Why he breathed? Breathe is a different act. You know, be is a word. Breathing is an action. Correct? Okay. How Allah created Adam according to Islam? Let us see. All those verses is speaking about Allah creating Adam from mud. How he created Adam from mud? He breathed into the mud. Let us see. Let us see. Chapter 15, verse number 29. When I have fashioned him, which means he made him like a statue, and breathed into him of my spirit, Allah created Adam from mud. Behold, the Lord said to the angels, I am about to create a man from a sounding clay. And when I fashioned him, and I breathe. So we have we have three stages. First of all, he brought so, you know, uh, sand and water. He made them as a mud. Second, he fashioned him as a shape of a man. Number three, he breathed into him. Where is B and he was?
What do you think? So the, the Quran is a stupid book. The Messiah is not the same as Jesus, as, a, as, a, as Adam, because Adam is from mud. And there is mud and fashion and then the breathing. And the Messiah, Allah did not breathe into the Messiah. He breathed into Mary. And here we go, the hate in front of you. I'm not the one who's saying that to you. And different verses says, in, you know, actually here it says, uh, 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 Here it says, We breathe into her. In different verses it says, We breathe into her vagina. So, looking carefully at those verses, prove that when the Quran says that Jesus is the same as Adam, is a stupid comparison because there's nothing to compare. Adam was created from mud. Uh, Jesus is not. Jesus is the word of God sent down to Mary. And the same verse, this, uh, this Muhammadan, he quote for me, proving that Jesus is heavenly person. Why? He was the word of God. Is the word, do the word of God die? No. And he is a spirit proceeding from God. Not spirit created by God, as he claimed. The Muslim claimed. This is why in the in the Islamic uh, religion, there is only one person. He have a title, Ruhullah wa Kalimutullah. That is Jesus. Muhammad is not Ruhullah. Adam is not Ruhullah. Anyone, no one is Ruhullah except G Jesus himself. Any Muslim? And not only that, by the way, do you notice here that Muhammadan, they made a mistake by quoting this verse? Because the verse says, don't say Trinity, but the same verse says that Trinities exist. But they have their own version of the Trinity. Look what happened. The verse in the front of us says, say no Trinity. Okay, I'm not going to say Trinity, Allah. I'm going to follow now your steps. Look what happened. The city Allah is talking. Jesus is a messenger. What does that mean? He's a person in the flesh. He's a man. In the same time, he is the word of God. How I can be the word of God and yet as a man. In the same time, he is a spirit. How I can be the word the man, the spirit in the same time. Three, but one. If we ask the Muslims, is the word of Allah, which is Isa, is Isa, they say yes. Okay. Is the messenger of Allah, which is Isa, is Isa, they say yes. Is the spirit of Allah, which is given to Isa, is, is Isa, they say yes. But is the spirit of Allah, is the spirit of Allah anyway? And if we say that the spirit is a created, the man is a created, the word is not. The Muslims agree that the word of God never been created. Actually, if a Muslim he says the Quran was a created, he will be executed immediately according to the cult of Islam. So Jesus was the word of God before he became a man. This is confirmed what it says in the book of John, chapter 1, verse number 1. And then the word became a messenger or a man. This is confirmed, chapter 1, verse number 14 in the book of John. And that is confirmed that the Spirit is with Jesus. And that is confirmed, the Bible is speaking about the Holy Spirit. And Jesus, he said, I will go, but I will never leave you alone. I will leave the comfort. I will, I will, you know, I will send the comforter for you. And the comforter is a spirit. Muslim, they claim the comforter is Muhammad. Is Muhammad a spirit? This is how naive they are, desperately. So, any verse you quote for me from your book is a clear proof that Islam is a stupid cult. The same verse denying the Trinity is the same verse believe that there's a three, a three, a three, they can be one. Actually, they cannot, not only can be, they are three, one. How you can say to me there's no Trinity and you cannot be three and one at the same time, but Jesus is three and one at the same time. Do we have any Mohammedan would like to say anything? Ali Muhammadan? The one who is talking about the drama in the chat, my friend, you can block anyone, he making you upset, so you don't see the drama. You can block any person, 
you don't excuse me you don't like here's a chat or you can close the chat you will not see any drama the second you enter into a chat room have thousand people listening like now we don't have too many say 700 so you will ex you know expect to have all kind of people to take it easy this is not a restaurant have a menu for you where you choose your your food those are people we cannot change them and people they say smart and good and stupid stuff so if you are the smart one just be smart prophet Google he made an option says a block block the person you will not see his word anymore this is remind us of the you know we the Arab we have always we have a drama there's an Arab guy he from my let us say he's a, a relative his name is Muhammad he went to the movie and uh, he went to the movie and then he get upset in the movie he came out he says hey Muhammad what's up Muhammad he was telling his cousin hey you know they did not uh, watch the movie you know why did not watch the movie what happened didn't you pay didn't you get in he said yeah I get in I paid I get in they let me get in yes I said okay why did not watch the movie he said by the time I finished shaking hands in assalamu alaikum the movie was over So my friend, when you enter in the chat, don't shake hands with everybody. Listen to what we are saying. If you don't like the chat, are you coming here to watch the movie or to, to, to shake hands with those souls in the chat? Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. People are saying, sit down, Muhammad, sit down. Assalamu alaikum. Muhammad, sit down. Watch the movie. Assalamu. He will have to shake hands with everybody. It's not a tradition. He cannot do them. I have to shake hands. So you enter into a chat and then you are complaining about the chat because simply you are focusing in the chat. You don't focus in with us. Now, who is a Muslim? He has something to say. Assalamu alaikum. And by the way, even the word Assalamu alaikum is not Islamic. This is a Jewish greeting. When the angels, they came to Mary, what they said to her people? Can somebody tell me? What the Bible says when the angels came to Mary? They said exactly, Assalamu alaikum. Because she's individual, Assalamu alaikum. Shalom unto you, Mary. Muhammad, he copied that. This is why you see when the angel came to Muhammad, never said to him, Assalamu alaikum. Did you notice that? If you go and see the hadith where it's speaking about Muhammad being squeezed by a guy, they claim that he is Jibreel. He cannot be Jibreel. Because if this is Jibreel coming, having the message of God, he will say peace to you. What do you think? Why, why the angel did not say that? I hope it's almost him. Hello? Why, why the angel did not say that? Mute you too, please. Are you a Muslim? I hope it's a Muslim. Hello? Oh. Hello? Yes, are you yes, a Muslim, sorry. my friend? Why, why the angel did not sing? Mute you too, please. Are you a Muslim? I hope it's a Muslim. Hello? Hi, yeah. uh, uh, Christian Prince? Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, can you hear me clearly? I hear you now. Go ahead. Are, uh, you, are you a Muslim, my friend? Um, yeah. Uh, my name is Mahmoud. If you remember, you know, uh, we spoke uh, like a couple of weeks ago. Well, I, I, I apologize, really. It's hard to remember. You know, I speak to a lot of people. Uh, Mahmoud, the the guy from Sudan? If you, if uh, you, if uh, Mahmoud, yeah, the one who left Islam, right? Yes, yes, yes. All yes. right, my friend. Uh, yeah. What do you want to say? I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to take too much of your, your time. You know, I just want to give you a little bit of update, you know. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, things have been good, you know. Yeah, my life is good now. I have peace. I have rest of mind. You know, everything is going fine. Praise yeah, and, and I'm I'm learning more and more, and you know, I'm and I'm getting better and better as as a person. Yeah, my friend, all of us don't don't feel sad for you know being a bad person, and because all of us we are bad, no matter we are going to be. I mean, I'm bad too. You see, yeah, we, we do. We do bad stuff. The one who claimed to be holy, he is a fake and he's a liar. Correct? Yeah. No, you know, it, yeah. it's not even so much about doing, but yeah. you know, be, you know, feel, I'm yeah. not, let me finish. 
feel yeah. bad and feel guilt. Yeah, feel guilt. Yeah. Feel guilt. So you right. can repent and you can fix your yeah. guilt, you know. But That's but your true. guilt is there, you know. And yes. the one the hypocrite is the one who say I don't have any or he ignore it and he live the lifestyle of what sinner person. So yes. we all of us I'm not better than you. Don't think I'm better than you and don't yeah. think you are lower than me, no. But yeah. the, the the different is that yesterday was yesterday is today the same as yesterday? Sure, sure, you know? sure. So yesterday yeah. I was let's say I was a criminal. Yesterday, yesterday I was a thief, maybe. Okay, but yeah, am cool. I still a thief today? This is the question. So we commit sin. Sin is like a you know you are like a horse who fell down when he's running. So either mm. you stay down in the hole, or yes. you stand up and you run again. Stand up and move on. Yeah, that's true. That's yeah. true. Yeah. So and um, I just want to add you know one thing, uh, Christian Prince. You see, you don't need you don't need debate with anybody. Yeah. Uh, you don't need debate with uh, with Muhammad Hijab. You don't need any debate with uh, Zakir Naik or whoever they want to bring to you. You don't need anyone that wants to debate you. Let them call into your show. No, no, I'm not debating. You see, you see, I'm getting invested. You see, for yeah. me, yeah. Let see, them, my, my friend, my friend. Do you, let do them you, do you know how in, annoying, uh, Mahmoud? Do you know how annoying to me? Do you know how many hours today I'm sitting behind the computer? Honest to my God, the Lord is my witness. My back is hurting. My knee is hurting. I can't because I, if you stay for long, all those hours you need to walk. Yeah, that's true. That's you know, true. I cannot. You know, like I mean, it's really hurting. My eyes is hurting. I yeah. stay the whole day behind computer, either answering Muslims, answering email, answering Christians. Everybody no. come to me. Everybody need help. Still, I, I don't know. complain. But yeah. what what we do here? I'm not debating Muslims. No. I'm showing the Christians and the Muslims how stupid Islam is. Yeah. And anything is opportunity for me. When a Muslim he called me to prove me wrong opportunity yeah. for me <laughs> to get him out of islam and at the same time people will see how stupid islam yeah, but yeah a person but, but, a deceiver like this mimi hijab look but where, yesterday where, yesterday he wanted to make a to make a drama right but yeah, look what yeah, he did but, he got me yeah. a lot of subscribers and now there's thousands of thousands of muslims are coming to watch my videos actually yes, yeah. we just have a quarter from a muslim who came to me because of mimi hijab and he just agreed he is he's, he's out of islam oh wow oh wow yeah. oh wow so, so you know, you know, because what you are doing, nobody is doing it, and your knowledge of Islam, nobody knows it the way you know it. I mean, I'm I'm always blown away. I've watched more and more of your video. It's it's mind blowing. The amount of and it's not even the knowledge. You know the question to ask at the right time. You know that is where because you are attacking from above, from below. You are like a guerrilla fighter. You know from above, from below, from. They don't know where you are coming from, and you keep hitting them. And you know uh, what you're doing is so, just so beautiful, so beautiful. I've never seen anything like that. So just uh, keep it up, keep what you're doing up. Yeah. Thank you, my friend. Where we are doing, I'm doing my best. And, just keep, uh, yeah. you know, for us, uh, uh, yeah, there's yeah. nobody. Nobody is perfect. Sometimes, sometimes yeah. we use like. Sometimes I get angry. Sometimes, but I'm a, I'm a human like everybody. I know you are you're and, a human, but what you, uh, people they because they play games with us, and I know it's true, and still they are denying it, and that sometimes sure. brings frustration. But you know, the Lord He provide me with patience. Yeah, the same yeah. most of the time, you know, sometimes yeah. I lose my patience, but it's okay. At the end of the day, we provide education to the Christians. Nobody, as you said, is providing. What while our churches are not doing their jobs, yeah. Our priests, yeah. they are the same as the Muslim Sheikh. Yes. You know, they yeah. are just doing yeah. business. Many of but, them. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Okay, like okay, uh, uh, Christian Prince. If you watch all the debates with maybe Christians and Muslim, you know what they are doing. They're just talking. You know, uh, there is tea, there is coffee. You know, there is people clapping. That is not how it should be done. The way you are doing it is exactly how it is to be done. You know, you you know, you have to smoke them out of their hole, smoke them out so that they, they have no room to hide anymore. But where everybody is, is wearing a nice suit, is, you know, everybody has, you know, there is coffee, tea, there is milk to drink. That is not debate, man. You know, debate is what makes you uncomfortable. And that is what you are doing. Nobody is doing it the way you are doing. Nobody. And let me tell you, what you are doing is what Islam deserves. And Christian Prince, you are the one that is going to destroy Islam. You are the one. I know it very well. Thank you, my friend. Thank you for I, calling. Mark. And thank, I'm it. happy for you that you left Islam and you, you know, you live yeah. a good life with the, with the Messiah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank, thank you. you. All right. Yeah, uh, you know, don't, please don't call me to praise me and say Christian Prince is wonderful. I am no one. 
I'm nobody. Actually, nobody knows even who I am. You know, and people, Muslims, they post pictures. Supposedly, this is me. You know, supposedly, whatever you say. So, uh, I'm not here. For, uh, uh, it's this is not about me. And at the end of the day, it's how much knowledge we share with the Christians so they can refute Muhammadan. I was really happy one day when I saw a kid. It was a kid posting in YouTube. I click at the at the at the post to see who is this person who is making the comment. It was a kid. A Muslim, he says to him, you worship a man. The kid, the Christian kid, he said, you worship a leg. And you can tell he's a kid. Ha ha, you know, you know, uh, you worship, you know, you, you worship a leg. For a long time, nobody from the Christian they knew that Allah is nothing but a physical being. And I remember each time, even I say to Christian, even Arab Christians, they don't know. I mean, they have no idea. A Muslim didn't know too. Allah is a physical being. So they say to you, don't worship a man, but Allah is a physical being, and you have a shin, and you have a leg, you have a foot, you have five fingers, you have two hands in the right side. You have eyes, you have face, you have a bum. So if it's a shame to follow a man, but the man is holy, the shape will not change how holy he is. Even the Quran, chapter 19, verse 19, says the Messiah, the Holy Son, the holy gift of God, literally. And as you see, he is the word of God. And as you see, he is the spirit of God. And as you see, he have no father. And as you see, according to the cult of Islam, is still right now, he is alive, he is in heaven. And yet you say to me, why you follow him? And according to the cult of Islam, he raised people from death. And according to the cult of Islam, he can make the blind see. And he can tell you what you had in your home. And he can tell you even what you commit sin. And not only that, he have titles as the word of God and the spirit of God. And you are saying to me, why you follow him? If the purpose of the Messiah, according to Islam, is to be a messenger, Allah, he have a big failure. Because as you see, Jesus became God if he was not. If Allah, Muslim, they say, Allah gave him those miracles. Okay, question. Allah gave this miracle to make him look like God or look like a prophet. They will say like a prophet. Well, this is not a miracle for a prophet. Here we go, Muhammad is a prophet. Why he cannot create from the mud the bird? Hmm? Why a messenger? He need to, to be a creator in order to be a messenger. What do you say? He make of the clay a figure of a bird and I breathe into it. And look at the first translation here. They are saying by unbelievable. Uh, forgive me for this microphone. I need to change it. If this is the purpose of those miracles, Jesus, he can make the blind see. Jesus, he can heal the leper. Jesus, he created from the mother bird. Those they feel, they did not make us believe Jesus is a messenger. They made us believe that Jesus is God. Because if you do what God do, you are God. And the funny, the funny, the Quran says, are you going to worship someone he cannot create a fly? Well, Jesus did not create a fly. He created the bird. The Quran saying that you should follow only someone who can be creator and creator, not of a machine, creating of a life. That's why he says in chapter 22, verse number 73, are you going to worship beside Allah, someone who cannot even create a fly? So if this person can create a fly, Worship him beside Allah. Is that correct? This is what the verse is saying. The requirement for worshiping somebody, he can create a fly and above. And not only that, he says, Allah, he said, and if all of them, they got it together, they cannot create a fly. 
And if a fly he stole their food, they cannot get it back. My friends, we are victorious. We are the one who follow the one, and not only he created a fly. The Bible says everything was created by him and for him. And the Quran confirmed that Jesus is a creator. Somebody says that, okay, this is by the leave of Allah, prove it. I say Allah, he cannot create a zucchini. He cannot even create anything. Allah doesn't exist. Otherwise, anyone can say, okay, I gave Jesus the power. Hey, Jesus, I gave you the power. I gave Allah the power to anyone can talk is it cheap why Allah cannot do what Jesus did here we go Muhammad he became a prophet according to Islam Allah he sent him according to Islam Allah he sponsored him with zero miracle according to the Quran the Quran says nothing make us refrain from sending our signs except that people don't believe in them now you remember that nobody believe in them. He refrained. What do you mean you refrain? Allah have a Allah. He joined the yellow pages vest, the, the yellow vest in France strike. He's asking for better salary. So you have all the power and you have the patient all this time to give in prophet after prophet after prophet miracles, but when it's come to Muhammad, that's it. You refrain. Allah is in a strike in vacation. This was an excuse of a false man. His name is Muhammad, for he could not do any. When the Muslim, they say that the moon is split, even the Quran doesn't say that Allah split the moon. It says the moon is split and the judgment day is near, which is a false prophecy because judgment day did not come near yet. So even that verse proving Islam to be false. So my brothers and my sisters, we posted many videos today in, in the Patreon. Please go and download them because they are not in my page download them and share them with your friends download don't share links download and post again you see I do my part and I wish I can stay longer but really things is getting hurt <clears throat> see sitting behind the computer for all those hours your knees really hurt so now when I stand up it hurt you know and uh, my back hurt, my eyes hurt. So I wish I can stay longer. And actually, I scheduled to uh, to be on uh, on air at nine o'clock today. You believe it? Again, I cannot do it. <laughs> I mean, this guy, Oh, <laughs> uh, anyway. So please download the videos. And if you are a Muslim, please, if we are with what we are saying is a stupid and funny, download them too. But don't do what the, those people do, cut and paste and put the shame on you. If you are brave, download my video, post it as it is. You can make comment about them. But don't cut and lie. It's a bring nothing but a shame. People now they see the original video and people are laughing at you. All right? Uh, anyway, I want to say thank you, Lord, for having all those good brothers and sisters here. We thank the Lord for even having the Muslims listening. We thank the Lord that even, even the evil ones, they might be trying to attack and hurt, but even by their attack, they bring more people to listen to us. That's wonderful, my friend. I am really grateful. You see, even when they try to attack us, it's for our benefit. First, it give you the way, and as long as the Lord, he provide you with someone who can teach you. That's mean you will be stronger, you have answers, and you are not ignorant. Each time they make an attack, we learn more. We learn more about our Bible, but they cannot answer about the Quran. So for us, is a strength. For them, it's a disaster. 
when this person he spoke about breastfeeding any Muslim he will ask himself what kind of a prophet okay this is the question now you are saying he was asking her about breastfeeding but isn't it the prophet he said do breastfeeding so now we question the guy who is this guy anyway we question the prophet what kind of a prophet he teach breastfeeding so now Muslims are listening and there's many people they never heard this before a prophet our prophet our holy prophet is ordering women to give their breast to a stranger are you kidding me to an adult man yes my friend so the evil sometime I don't know if you know like there is a in Arabic uh, like you know there's some uh, uh, plant they have a very sharp needles you know what I mean but from those plants who have very sharp needles flowers will come and we are going to collect the flowers don't worry about the sharp needles they are needles the Lord always will make us victorious they try to dishonor you try to make lies about you take it easy don't you saw I saw the video today of uh, 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 Apostle Prophet uh, Apostle Prophet is not a Christian you know but for me I can tell how much false they are they are trying to humiliate this guy by fabricating lies about him but you see if I speak to him if I get the chance I would not even you know I just refute them get them busted and don't don't let them affect you don't ever let the devil affect you my friend be strong you can call me as much names as you want the truth is the truth and the lie is the lie you can fabricate stories about any of our, any of us and everybody knows why because we are fighting Islam not because we are bad or even good the story is simple anyone fight Islam we put him down anyone fight Islam we flag his videos anyone fight Islam we will threat him if somebody do uh, you know uh, like any kind of crazy stuff faith and stuff Muslim don't mind but the second you say Islam is a garbage they throw their garbage on you but my, don't worry we have recycle machine <laughs> we will use your garbage and we will send it back but we will send it back in a good way right so thank you Lord for all the gifts thank you Lord for the brothers and sisters thank you Lord for the victory thank you Lord for the knowledge thank you Lord for every gift you provide to us and soon we will have a Christmas and Christmas have the name of the Lord the Muslim they will say to you by the way do you know that Jesus was not born in that day our friend the Christmas is not about which day Jesus was born it's about Jesus being born God came to us in the flesh of a man and every day in our life should be, should be Christmas for in that day Christ day the earth had changed forever salvation come to us the Muslim by the way they never they never celebrate the date of their prophet in the correct day because Muslims they are following the Islamic calendar which is funny this is why you see sometime the birthday of Muhammad in August sometime it's in December sometime in in, in January you, you don't believe me go search in Google yet they are asking you when the day of Jesus they say to you that Sunday the the, the, the Christmas was a pagan day it doesn't matter my friend did I say it was those they used to be pagan they used to worship the Sun and today the Sun is Jesus that is our son that's our light this is why he said I am the light and your God Allah or Muhammad Akka Muhammad he tried to copy Jesus and he said I am the light of the world that is the word of Jesus 600 years before him so praise the Lord for all the gifts I love you all from around the world I'm so happy like now we heard our friend from Sudan wonderful people loving people by the way Sudani people are very nice people it's very you know it's it's very well known that people of Sudan they are very decent you know 
now for sure everywhere there's bad and good and etc but it's, it's you know they are they are nice people Sudan is in Africa for those who do not know and Sudan used to be one country and now separated to two countries one is a Christian and one is Muslims uh, thank you Lord for having people from Asia from Indonesia from the Philippines from UK from uh, USA from Canada from all the world I mean it's amazing from Iran if you see how many people they are watching from around this earth the, the, the I'm I'm lucky actually that I am living in these days where I can speak to people around the world while I'm sitting behind my computer this is an opportunity never happened before to any of the great Christians who came before us they used to suffer their life you know get killed tortured discriminated crucified to go and preach and teach the truth today you know yes I work hard my knee is hurting I mean but this is nothing compared what those great fathers did I cannot compare what I did I mean look at this I'm complaining about sitting behind the computer and drinking my tea and talking it hurt yes but I cannot compare what I did to those what they did they used to feed them to animals and yet they did not deny Jesus how many of us they would do that Imagine somebody capture you. He says, this is a lion. I'm going to throw you there. Say, Jesus is not God, and I will let you free. You say, no. Throw me to the, to the lion. I don't care. Even the Quran, even the stupid book of Muhammad, confirm that there is a king, and supposedly he was a Jewish king. He made a ground hole. A big hole in the ground and he put fire in it and he gave the Christians that the, 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 the choice of leaving Christianity or to be burned alive even the Quran chapter 85 verse number 4 and they did not leave Jesus Even the book of the devil witness that the Christians, our great fathers, they paid the high price of burning a life, yet they never deny the Lord. Isn't it amazing? No problem in the right way. My friend, forgive me too. You see, I don't, I don't know you. I'm not talking to an individual. I'm talking to all of us. Please let us uh, let us be loving, have fun, and be smart. People, they say things you don't like. What they say, take it easy. Take it easy. What I will say then? Do you know how many emails I receive every day? Name calling my Skype. I open my Skype. It's scary. <laughs> what will happen to you if you have my Skype? I changed my name in Skype to Debate TV. I add next to it, not me. You know why? Because each time I open in Skype, I find like 1,000 people asking me, are you Christian Prince? So I put there, not me. Imagine I spend that day just saying, yes, it is me. Yes, it is me. Yes, it is me. So I put next to my name, if you see it, not me. Take it easy, my friend. Be strong. Be intelligent. The Lord, the Lord, he gave us a brain. It's a gift. Use it. Patient is beautiful. You see, if you learn patient, your life will change. Your family will be more happy because then you will learn how to deal with intelligence, with your children, with your wife, with your family, with your neighbors, with problems around you. When you lose your patient, you fail into mistakes and errors. Patient is extremely important. And the one who believes, he should have a patient. That let your belief train you to be patient. The, mess, the Messiah was in the cross, and he was so patient to the point he was saying, "Forgive them, Father. They don't know what they are doing." Imagine somebody putting nails in your in your hands and your feet, torturing you. And what you are thinking about? Forgive them, Father. I mean, who can do that? What kind of patient you have? That is a patient of God. That is a patient of God. Where even in the point when somebody putting nails in my hands, 
I'm praying for them. I'm forgiving them. We don't handle a chat. This is why you see these days people are getting divorced because people they are waiting for a reason to fight. Maybe we should make maybe tomorrow I will open uh, other. Uh, 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 actually, this is a good idea. Maybe tomorrow we talk about why why people get divorced. In the quality of life channel, you see, when you meet a woman, if you are a man or a woman, or you meet a man, in the beginning, if she want a cup of tea, you go to the kitchen. Okay, honey, you want kitchen? You want tea? Okay, go. Okay, what happened? The two months after, she said to you, "I want tea." You say to her, "Get out, go and get it," or vice versa, the opposite. What happened? Because simply, you don't have the qualification of love. The qualification of love is that I do things not because I'm a servant, because I've been forced to, but because I serve, because I love to serve. So those two, they never met because they want to serve each other by love. They met only because they have a joy, maybe, maybe sexual joy. Maybe the guy is rich, maybe the woman is beautiful, maybe there's a reason. But none of them is love. And when those reasons disappear, divorce comes. Because the reason for this union is not exist. So maybe tomorrow we can, uh, <coughs> you know. Yeah, you see, Sam Shamoon, okay, maybe he don't have a, too much patience, but Sam Shamoon is a very, he, this guy, he have a good heart. Actually, most of Muslims will get very angry fast, you know people in general I mean anyone mostly they get angry fast and they forget fast be afraid of from the one who don't get angry fast but he keep hate in his heart you know what I mean like th those who get angry fast usually after five minutes they don't even remember what happened they have a good heart All right so it's okay have patience my friend the guy is fighting you don't have the patient you are looking for just understand uh, his situation and the, and even Sam he say he says I don't have patient he say that he you know he's not saying I don't know so let us be let us be let us help him not to be against him all right so anyway I said 30 minutes ago 30 minutes ago God bless you I'm leaving I'm still here so may the Lord the Messiah bless us may the Lord forgive the Muslims may the Lord open their eyes May the Lord make us loving and giving, and may the Lord not make us go into the level of the evil one. Never be evil. Never fight evil by evil. Never go down to the level of evil. Fight it, but by being good, not by being evil. Never cut the tape and put it together to make Muslims look bad. Never do fabrication. Lies come from the devil. The devil is the father of all lies. This is what the Bible teach us, and the Bible is the best words to listen to. Thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you, and until we see you soon again, Christ is Lord, and Islam is false. And happy to be with you again. Thank you.